Guy, thank you for joining me. Quick words about the end of the game celebration. Uh, yeah, it looks I mean, like it was very personal. No, I mean, okay, <laughs> basically, BB was strolling us before the game, All right. and he was like showing us when, like, I um, I booed when they did their uh, pre-routine game thing. Yeah. So at the end, we just shh back and yeah. What do you think about the pre-routine game? Uh, as you said, because they're really loud, mm -hmm. and I know that for some team it can be maybe intimidating. So yeah, how, how are they that um, move for you? I mean, I feel like for me, it's more motivation than okay. anything else. I kind of want to beat them more than, than usual. So Perfect. yeah, they're just giving <laughs> they're just giving you more fuel. Let's say. Let's talk about the game real quick because you were in the driver's seat, but the mm -hmm. game dragged out for so long. You were missing some engage, maybe to close out the game. But how? What did you? What would you point down as the mistakes that you made that prevented you from closing out the game sooner? Um, I think. Maybe we should have dove them when we had Nash okay. and we went like mid bot and then also when they went on me mid at like 30 minutes or something, I used ult for no reason, even though I was safe. And then that slowed down our Nash. Um, so we had to take another Nash to close out the game. And also I feel like they were just kind of giving up everything and not really defending, which makes it kind of hard because they don't really make mistakes, I guess, that way. Uh, so yeah, I think they are not bad uh, playing from behind. And at the end, it was just a matter of as, as like, can we clean the game? Uh, till the end or not, and we did it. So. We managed to do it, yeah. And before the game, we were seeing a mic check segment about you being the leader, of course, which is something that was... No, you talk a lot in-game, in the good sense, I mean. But is this the first time you have this kind of role within a team? Um, I mean, even though like everyone actually thinks that I'm like leading okay. in-game, I mean, I agree, I think I maybe talk like a lot, but I think right now it's still Elio, I'm making like the main calls, but I mean, I guess I'm like the... Second voice that like confirms it or says like other stuff. Um, but I think right now it's still mainly Elio actually shot calling the game um, in general. But I'm there and like I think I help with it as well. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm not the main shot caller yet. So. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. I hear yes. But <laughs> is it a role that you enjoy though? And do you think it um, changes your play style, the fact that you have to lead sometimes and um, in the base of the game? I mean, I think it's a new role that I didn't have in any of my teams before, where I feel like um, we lead the game, like mid-jungle, I'd say, uh, even in mid-game. And I think that's something I've never really done before, where communication-wise, I don't think I've ever talked as much as I do now, even though I don't even talk like that much now. But before, I used to be like <laughs> way more silent um, on Fnatic, on C9. So I think now it's just a matter of how good can I lead with Elioia the game and... Uh, and yeah, I mean, Armut also talks, but like... <laughs> he's loud, but, yeah, we heard he's, that. Yeah, during he's the kind game. of useless, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit rough. Okay, we'll just joking, skip joking. on this one. Of course, yeah, of course. No, I'm joking with your Turkish brother, <laughs> But um, uh, do you think it's going to make you progress as a mid laner, the fact that you now have this new role within the team? Yeah, I mean, I think the greatest mid laners of the world usually also lead their team, I'd say. Um, like when Doe and B1 Worlds, he was shot calling everything and knew what to do on the map. And I think... When you play this much of a strong role, I think you can kind of micromanage others or just have a better view on how to win the game. And I think that's something I'm learning way more right now. Um, and I think once I can do that, we can be an uh, even better team than we are. And we're getting closer to the half of the sprint now. You played enough game to see, mm -hmm. uh, I think, to have a grasp at the mid lane level. What do you think of the mid laners right now in the LEC? And where would you rank you among these <laughs> mid laners? You know, I have to ask. Yeah. I mean, I usually don't like to say that, but I think <laughs> right now I'm for sure in the top three contenders for mid, I'd say. Um, I think up there is uh, Larsen and Caps and Humanoid, I'd say. And then me, I think that's probably like the top five in Europe. But I don't think there's like a clear number one yet. Um, that will decide once playoffs hit. Uh, for now, yeah, I think that's pretty right. much it. We'll reevaluate later uh, in the season. <laughs> Last question for you. We're going to have Elioya in the post game lobby. Anything you want to say about him or to him? You choose. Um, I mean, some weeks ago he said that he wanted to be the best Wukong on this team. And I believe he's still not the best Wukong on this team. So, yeah, keep practicing Wukong. <laughs> Keep practicing, Wukong Yoya Niski. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much for the Merci. interview. And that's all for us on this side of the stage. Let's take a quick break now and we'll be right back for PGL with Elioya. Stay tuned. <laughs> 